That just looks like poppin' bees. What? What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Look at this. What you doing right now? W sweatshirt, bro. I like that. You sound like you sounded like Davinci. You sound like Davinci. Do I sound like the Do I sound like the Bear, Burger King foot lettuce guy? Everyone always says I sound like the Burger King foot lettuce guy. Okay, I'll do the voice. Yeah. Burger King foot well, you did lettuce. The voice. That doesn't mean you. But everyone. Like... But people are like, oh, you sound like the fucking Burger King foot lettuce guy. I don't even know what that is from. Is that a top 10 meme? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm shaking yeah, what this. Are you doing right, what are you doing right now? So I bought smelling salts and we didn't know where to get them. So these were like, this was $30. That's so much money. Yeah, but I wanted to do it. But for a one-time use of smelling salts. I, I don't think it's one-time use. I think you just use it until it like stops working. Oh shit. Okay, so what? first off, what are smelling salts? Why do people use smelling well, salts? I like hockey. Hold on. Oh I'm shit. Sorry, Al. Sorry. Fuck. It won't, yeah, there we go. I like hockey, you and like hockey? a lot okay. of, I mean, they use this for weightlifting too, but a lot of hockey players, they'll sniff these salts, called smelling salts, duh, yeah, yeah, yeah no shit, <laughs> and then they'll get like a hit of like adrenaline, or like, I don't know what it feels like, we'll do because a review. I have saw I saw that Theo Vaughn and Joe Rogan did it, and that's what made me really want to do it, because like, I'm so curious on what smelling salts I'm are. I'm on bad friends too. Apparently you're not supposed to do it that often. Because it's like bad for you. Yeah, we're not doing it often. Yeah, we're doing it one time. Like but... if I like it, maybe like a lot, but just like one bottle. Like I won't buy another bottle. Dude, you know what this is? This is the perfect opportunity for the best beer sauce intro ever. <laughs> because it, what does it smell like? It smells like poppin' bees. Oh, it's like the best. It's I the thought, perfect opportunity. Dude, I thought you were gonna say it's the perfect opportunity for the best beer sauce intro ever because you'd be cracked as fuck. That and also, I think it's been five minutes, dude. I think it's been okay, five minutes. We, okay, let's start. Should it. I start it? Okay, or should start. I do it? Or do you want to do it first? Oh, because we, oh we can't do it together. We can't. What we could? Wait, I'm gonna I... look at what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Basically, it was just like a powder, and I put water in it because you're supposed to. Yeah. Now, okay, unscrew the unscrew the cap, unscrew the cap. Hold on. Are you refixing, adjusting my frame? Thank you. I, I think you, do you have to take the plastic off around mm. it? Oh, you don't? Okay. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks fucking dangerous, bro. Show that to the camera. That dude, looks fucked like, up. It's like an acid. That oh, oh, dude, you spilled it on my tripod. Dude. Is this supposed to be liquid still? I don't know. It's just half cup water, and I did because I literally measured the water. Okay. It's on my finger, dude. Does it burn? Fuck. Are fuck. you good? Oh. Is it burn? Oh, Are you serious? Fuck, dude. Right. I'm not playing. <laughs> but I don't want it on my finger though. All right, rub it, rub it on your pant. Yeah. Okay, All right. Okay, you do it. You wait, 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 wait. We have to, we have to line this up so it's the perfect intro. So I'm gonna say, wait, what should I say? I'm gonna say. It kind of smells like... Okay, I'm going to take a big... I'm taking right, a big okay, whip. Okay, no, okay, no. You do it, I'll do it, and then we do the intro, okay? Okay, should I just do it now? Okay, but after it, I do it, you have to do it instantly. Okay, don't I'll do hesitate. it. No, why don't we just do it at the same time? I'll lean into your frame. Okay? okay but Are we both in frame, frame right now? Come to my frame. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, that smells bad. I can smell it from here. Do we take a big whiff, or what do we do? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. I didn't get That's... enough. I think we have to do it solo. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, you, you go first. You go first. You go first. Okay, beer sauce, fam. Is it not working? I don't think it's ready. Does it look ready to you? That smells like shit, though. I definitely felt something. I spent $30 on this. Okay, my ears are really the strongest ammonia inhalant ever created. Is designed... ammonia good for humans? Yeah, it's designed for more oxygen, more adrenaline for your big lifts. Made what? in Texas. What? Dude, I feel like I Texas wouldn't do us wrong. Ready, bro. It doesn't need to cook a little bit more. Just... You know what? You know you know what needs to cook a little bit more. You know what needs to fucking cook a little I'm bit more. By it. the way, I'm just gonna cook. It. Is your your riz? Okay. Your Riz needs to cook I, a little okay, bit Okay, but I don't agree. You don't agree with me? No. Okay, well, could I explain a, a story to... Yeah, and I'm going to say why I don't agree after. Okay. Because okay. I don't. Because so, it's bullshit. Because 
It's bullshit. This narrative is okay. bullshit. Okay, well, how long have you been out of practice with rizzing? Just to give a disclaimer to well, everyone. What's rizzing? Let's define rizzing because you have to. I it's, don't even it's, know. It's talking to the gender you're attracted to. Okay. With intent of flirt or with flirtatious intent. Dude, I haven't rizzed like ever. Because it comes really, I mean. No, like I haven't purposely rizzed ever because I've never met somebody through a dating app and i feel like that a lot of the times you're rizzing it's like you meet someone for the first time to go on a date but every relationship i've been on and i'm not talking counting like when i was 15 you know yeah every relationship i've been in which is two is we just met in person and we didn't really plan on dating when we first met so it's like i was never rizzing you know does that okay. make sense and no, i, I agree just with you was naturally funny enough my to... my my first relationship we were friends for like years before we started yeah. dating so like did you riz not really i rizzed right? my second girlfriend though yeah exactly. i did riz her you were there for that oh dude i really want this to work because my nose is fucked but it didn't dude it didn't even hit that hard the first time i think i put more like too much water but you measured it exactly i know do we just have to let it simmer for a bit longer i'm gonna just let's let's come back to this 20 minutes because i really want this to work because in my head it's like doing coke but without actually doing the coke because it doesn't go in you just smell it that's right, right but does it have a stronger effect than doing coke no no way oh shit but i've okay. never rizzed but i feel like i feel like i have subconscious riz where i can talk to somebody and make them laugh that's where is that riz does riz have to be conscious Ooh. effort or can riz be Ooh. natural you know i don't okay well first off let me just explain the story what is that what is that motion you're doing isn't that i saw this oh like your it. pussy belongs to me <laughs> oh shit dude <laughs> if i rub my eyes i might die okay don't rub your eyes then okay fuck <laughs> don't rub your okay, okay. okay but me and derek were in toys r us because we were buying um gifts for our friends we don't just go there we don't just go there for fun nope. we don't just browse and we bought a Fortnite toy for our friend for we don't play for, Fortnite. For, for Christmas. We don't play Fortnite, by the way. We don't play Fortnite. Game's cringe. But cringe, cringe, this cringe. guy plays Fortnite. <laughs> so we want yeah, to buy exactly. him. Exactly. <laughs> Just him. Just him alone. We don't queue with him. Okay? I want to make that so, so clear. We're in Toys R Us. But we're in Toys R Us. And Derek First of all. Okay. Warm as hell oh, in there. Dude, Toys R Us is hot. No, no, I needed no. to get it's, out. It's, it's like it was hot there, but I feel like a lot of businesses are hot these days. Because it's so cold outside. But you dress for the weather, right? So you're wearing oh, your winter yeah. jacket. You go into a store. You it's can't like, just strip. It's, it's like 40 degrees. You don't have coat it? hangers. So you're just really hot in there, which affects your ability to riz, hypothetically, right? It would. Okay, it would. okay, too, okay, okay. I'll give would, you the it, it was really it hot in there, so it affected my riz. Also, I, should we give context to this? Yeah. Like, I just got out of a relationship. That's why I have no riz yeah i mean yeah it's been, anyways yeah it's been like a couple of years since you've had to use your this yeah. riz right and um we were in toys r us and i don't know why but because this was a whole day of christmas shopping we spent like six hours just me and you christmas shopping together. i don't like the mall the mall yeah. makes me overwhelmed the mall so is i'm already up. like my attributes are lower okay <laughs> okay, okay. your so stats many excuses, are lower your dude. stats are lower i've made like 10 excuses <laughs> but um i don't know why but this day we had like multiple beautiful cashiers in a row we had like three or four beautiful Dude, if you, cashiers. If you work at, if you work at Metro Town Winners. Oh my God! There was the most beautiful. No, 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 no. get me. Fuck that guy. What the fuck, if bro? Find, choose, choose, choose. No, no, because <laughs> I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I can't do that shit. But we had multiple, so many just beautiful cashiers. Like, oh my God, right? Yeah. Like me and you were both like nervous. But the thing go. is. I wouldn't usually get nervous because I was in a relationship. But now you are getting nervous. Yeah. But I don't even know why I'm nervous. Dude, be, welcome to the welcome to the single like, man's I'm lifestyle. Even, welcome to the single man's no lifestyle. There's no reason to be nervous. It's just like you're checking out. And I never even understood why you would be nervous. And now I'm single for like, I've been single for three weeks. Yeah. And now I see like a, the most beautiful cashier ever at Winners at Metro tripping, Town. Yeah. Winners at Metro Town Winners. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I just, it's, it's that single weird. man's life. It's, weird it's that single man's me. life. But um, we had multiple beautiful cashiers, and our final beautiful cashier was at Toys R Us. Toys R Us Metro Town. Toys R Us Metro Town. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I go check out. It's fine. It's totally normal experience. First of all, you bought V-Bucks, so it wasn't fine. Because for our friend who plays Fortnite by himself. That? Did you tell her that? No. 
I should have. Wh- Actually, maybe I did. I don't remember. It's like, well, well, that's fucked up. Then I <laughs> get called to her. But then it was Derek's turn. And do you want to explain this or do you want me to explain this? Well, I am warm as hell. Okay. Okay. That's like my. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. I'm going to stop making excuses. Gonna excuses. excuses. <laughs> so I'm not trying to riz her. I'm not trying to like get her number or anything. I'm just trying to make conversation at the cash register so it's not awkward because I'm buying a Fortnite yeah. action figure. Yeah. I feel like it needs to be addressed. Mm-hmm. It needs to be. Mm-hmm. It's like if you were if let's like if you walked in at, to like London Drugs and I was the cashier and you bought like Trojan massive condoms. Yeah, I'm only need, five foot six. It would need like, to be addressed, bro. I'm like it bro, would just, I know, bro. Like double XL, like nine inch. It would need to be addressed, bro. Okay. Like I would look at you and be like, "Respect, really or not?" Like, <laughs> I'd be like, "On God, bro." Like, be let honest. me see. Let me see. Be honest, bro. So I, I need to be dressed. So I go up to her and I'm like, "Hey, you ever play Fortnite? Because because I'm buying the yes. Fortnite." Okay. You're valid. You're Action valid. Figure. You're valid right now. But I didn't want to be like a pussy and be like, oh, it's actually for a friend. So I was like, oh, oh, she was like, oh, yeah, I used to. Do you? And then I was like, because I want to be funny because mm-hmm. I know that being funny, people like you when you're funny. Like Pete Davidson, this guy has dated everybody in Hollywood because he's funny. He's not that attractive. Pete Davidson is, I think. But he's not. He's on. he's he's ugly. You're handsome. But his humor is subconsciously in your rating of him no matter what because he's yeah, funny. Yeah, that's true. That's right? true. That's true. And this guy fucking dated Kim Kardashian, dude. That's a pretty insane roster. That's an insane... That's, a, that's an insane He'd date. be bouncing around a lot, though. Yo, well, he's batshit crazy, so yeah. he can't hold someone down, but... Mm-hmm. <sighs> Excuse you. Oh, my God. You okay? I don't ever burp. That was weird. I don't burp. That was probably I don't, the I don't first time I've burp. ever seen you burp. I don't burp. I don't fart. Like... And I no, volunteer. I volunteer at a lot of homeless shelters. <laughs> okay, um, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> Winners Metro Town. <laughs> Winners Metro Town. <laughs> Toys R Us Metro Town. So, so then, I say, oh, no, I don't play. I just collect the. I just like collecting the action figures. I thought that was funny. I thought it was like it was like dry humor. It's dry humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not gonna be yeah. like, oh, penis. I don't yeah, know, that's I what mean, we that... do on here. So I So you didn't want to I yeah. wanted it to be like socially acceptable at the cash register. And then I'm like, oh, like I actually um I used to play, but I had to stop because I had a f I had a Fortnite addiction. And then she was like, Oh no way, you were you were too cracked. <laughs> but, dude, <laughs> but it would dude, dude, why did you lie? First off, if you lie, make it a good lie. Why would you put yourself down and say you have a Fortnite addiction, dude? Because if I lie about having a small penis and then I have an average sized penis, oh, it's a, oh, it's a big dick. No, now. it's lowering the bar. It's exactly. low, such a good idea. Exactly. I need to do that because now my average penis is gonna look massive because the expectation was low. But if I'm talking about oh, it's so big, I can give you a great time. Yeah. And then I have whiskey dick, it's the worst. But Dude. if I say I have whiskey dick. You, I said it. I already told you. I already told you, right? I already told you. This isn't. It, this sounds like it's a personal story. It's, and not. it's not. I just like You're just making this. I'm up making right. it up. Even if it was a personal story, you would never tell anyone. I don't get whiskey dick. I get Adderall dick. You, you've gotten Adderall dick before. What's that like? It just it won't go hard. Can you still bust though? Yeah. Crazy, <laughs> right? Wait. So like, and on, on any stimulant. Um, I just can't get it hard. Like coffee is like a little bit. Eh. Yeah. Well, caffeine's not that bad, but stimulants like Adderall, Vivance, ADHD medication, probably Coke too. You can't. You just can't get an erection to save your I life. I can, but dude, I have to be like in the zone. Okay, shit. And like, I can. Finish. Like you need some neck kisses to get you in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm like doing it alone. Mm-hmm. Hella hard, but I can. If I'm in the zone, I really, really lock in. Mm-hmm. But if I like get the stride for like three seconds, it's like gone, like insta. Like imagine a penis shrinking from like erect to like completely flaccid in like three seconds. I think I have a world record for that. For the like the most flaccid cock. No, no, no. Like the fastest time <laughs> to go from fully erect <laughs> to to like to, to just completely soft. soft. Completely soft. Because a completely soft dick, I have to be in love with you to let you see my completely soft dick. That shit is small, bro. Cause I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a grower. I'm not. Yeah. Joking. I need to be in love with you if I'm gonna let you see my dick not hard. It's sort of just like 
I need to be comfortable with somebody. And sometimes I can be comfortable fast and sometimes I can be comfortable slow. And I think what it depends on for me is how cool I think you are. So the the less cool they are, the more cool that you are with showing your uh yeah. small flaccid yeah. peen. Because my peen is so small when it's flaccid, dude. Or it's flaccid when it's not hard, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if I'm in your apartment and we just hooked up. Me and you? No, like, like if I'm just... <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. But you're a girl and you're some random girl I'm at the bar. Okay, sure. Um, and, But you sleep on like the ground mm-hmm. and you have like one thing in your fridge. Oh, I'll show you my flaccid thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, dude, like. You got you don't have it going on for you. Yeah, like that flaccid so, dick is like probably the best yeah. thing in that apartment. <laughs> exactly. Okay, nice. Exactly. Nice. So Toys R Us, that's what I said. And yeah. then she's like, Would you like to donate to like um kids some Yeah, some random. When I heard kids. kids, I was like instantly, nah. Man. I never donate the if kids it's the... don't need me. Yeah. But but I when she asked me, I did it. I know, but I didn't know that. So when I said no, you yelled like, yo, I you're not donating, I even donated. And then I was like, dude, like did he actually donate? She was like, Yeah, I was like, Yeah, I'll donate, I'll donate, I'll donate. But I don't know. I feel like it's not that bad because she kinda like played off on it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean she just thinks you have a Fortnite addiction now. Which is fucked up. Well, no, but she was like, "Are you you? Or were you cracked at the game?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Which means like she sort of played off on it, you know. Okay. Like if she was like, "Ew," then I would have killed myself. That would have been really bad. Or if she was like, "Oh, that's so embarrassing." No, because no, because people are polite. They would not say that. I know people are really polite. I don't I just... think I would. I think I would say that. Okay, but you're 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 a unique kind of individual. I think I would say it without realizing it's impolite. You, no, you'd be like, "Oh, that's interesting, buddy." <laughs> that's what <laughs> yeah, you would say, dude, dude. Like you don't even mean dude, it in a bad I've way. Been saying buddy a lot, but you don't even mean buddy in a condescending way. It just sounds it's, condescending. It sounds so funny though. That's why. Yeah. It's like good luck with that, buddy. Like it's <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that, buddy. It sounds so much the, better. The buddy at the end really. It's like, there's humor in the buddy. Oh my god, is this smelling already? Is it good? Is it ready? Oh my dude, god, dude! Why is it overflowing is it from the bottle? Fucking leaking. Oh no! <laughs> no, you made me not want to try. You made me not want to try. I didn't even take a full whiff. I'm taking a full whiff. Okay, wait. Wait, what? Maybe you have to. Maybe you have to do it instantly. <sighs> Are you good right now? It looks like you you're about to turn really it really close. Oh, what the okay. fuck? Okay. Okay. okay I'm gonna do a full one now. Okay, bet. <laughs> are you good are you good oh my God. what the fuck is up y'all it's fucking beer sauce what's fucking oh, poppin bees what fuck? what's poppin bees <coughs> wait take off full whiff from like i can't i can't that's fucked up oh my god i can't i can't bro oh my god okay i'm gonna i'm gonna take a full whiff okay yo you know what this kind of smells like bro what kind of smells what? like poppin bees what's poppin bees <laughs> what's poppin bees welcome back to beer give me, sauce give me give me give me give me give me give because my nose is clogged. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Um, D R K Z H U D R Z. Stop oh. doing it, bro. Because my nose is bro. like clogged, so I can't get them. I do not like that at oh. all. Oh my god, I don't like that at all, dude. I actually don't like that at all. That is stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop doing it. My, I can't breathe through my nose, and this is like clearing it up. So it's you, you're supposed to do it like once you did it like seven times okay. that's so bad for you that i don't like that one you bit again? later right. i gotta recharge bro like of course i'm gonna do it for fucking oh, content just rub it on your are you rubbing it on the pillow what are you doing oh you're getting a napkin that's really smart actually yeah but dude you fucking yeah <laughs> okay i'm fucking out i'm fucking out okay but what, you... what if that? i was allergic you can be allergic to smelling salts it's ammonia. It's like a chemical. You can be allergic to like certain chemicals. Oh, fuck. I could be fucking allergic. Yeah, I don't know. That's pussy shit, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, dude, you're. I feel like you're back. You're, you're, you're back in the Riz game now. It's been a while. I guess I am. You're back in the dating scene. Because I've never been in the dating scene. That's the thing. I've never considered myself in the dating scene. But... You make it look fun, dude. And I kind of want to be in the Do dating scene. Do I make scene. look dating fun? Do I make dating look fun? It's not fun. It's not. Why not? It's fun because you have funny stories. Exactly. But it's exhausting. Yeah, it probably is exhausting talking to new people all the time. But like, it looks fun and it looks validating, dude. Like when a girl hits you up and it's like you're. I don't get hit up that often. Really? Actually, besides that, besides like. 
Yeah. So I do. Do I look? Dating, do I make dating look fun? Dude, you do because you go on these dates and you're like, oh, where should I go with this girl? I kind of like this girl, and then it's like, oh fuck, she ghosted me, and I'm like, oh shit, that sounds gas. <laughs> like I obviously being ghosted probably sucks, but like, it sounds not necessarily fun, but interesting. It adds this level of like spice to your life. Like I'm in the dating scene exactly. right now. It's 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 in the trenches. I gotta itch. Your your dick? Yeah, no, they yeah, it's it's whatever. Oh my god, I have ammonia. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh. I just put ammonia. <laughs> Why'd you just come? Why'd you just bust? No, it, it burns, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. I, I know that obviously it's hard because I'm an introvert. If I go on a bunch of dates, I'm going to like feel exhausted, mm-hmm. right? And I feel like I'm also sort of picky in a sense if I went on dates where it's not very... Um, the lemon law isn't very normal, right? The lemon, like, what yeah. do you do when you don't want to be on the date anymore. I feel like I, the thing is, I'm very like sometimes rude by accident to people we like, we we know and we like. Yeah. But for a stranger, I wouldn't like, I'd be too scared to offend them. Like, you know, on the bus, if you're on the bus. Oh, and and somebody smells. (laughs) I wasn't even thinking. We were on the bus and someone shat their pants, y'all. Yeah, and Derek sat beside him still. I had to make him go back with yeah. me. But and it it's like, like when shit. you're on the bus and you're sitting next to somebody, but everybody else, everybody else got off the bus and it's just you and the guy. And it's like, do you move away? Is it offensive? Is it offensive? Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It's a dilemma. It's a moral dilemma that has no right answer. Yeah, so it's like when you don't want to be on the date anymore. <laughs> what do you do? First of all, how do you even know if you want to go on a date with a person? Like, I know nothing. Okay. It's so- sort of just like, you know, I know what clothes I want to buy. Mm-hmm. Because I've tried different types of clothes. Yeah. But you, I haven't tried going on dates, so I don't know what dates I would like to okay. do. I don't know who I want to go on dates mm-hmm. with. I don't even know like what red flags are. Like, What should I be looking out for? Do I expose my red flags? Is it ethical to tell them that I'm weird and crazy? Oh, like, I've, That was a lot of questions. Damn, let's start, damn. Let's start slow, okay, let's start okay, slow. okay. Well, you know what? This, today, today's goal... The goal of today's episode is to, you know, right now your churn, your 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 riz wheel is all rusty. You can barely move it. It makes this weird squeaky noise. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get it moving, pour some oil on that wheel, and really start it to get going. So, you know? <clears throat> let's, can I, like, be myself on the, f- yes, I have to. Yeah, be yourself. Right? But mm. it's like, how much can I get away with? Well, it's different for every single person. Um... You're fucking gorgeous. So like, so a you're gonna bit more than the average. So the, uh, yeah, a lot more than the average person. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> personally, for me, <clears throat> I told a fucking, I told this like I've told this multiple times on like dates with different girls. Like I've been like, yeah, I think the world is a simulation. No lie. Like I've said that before. Yeah, you know my Marcus Aurelius rant. Which rant? Where I've I fell I fall asleep to YouTube videos. Oh yeah, and yeah. I woke up to a video on <clears throat> autoplay of Marcus Aurelius. And then four hours later, I watched a movie on Marcus Aurelius. And I didn't even know it was about him. Yeah. Like, do you think that would freak somebody out? Well, no, because I'd be like, oh, my God, like, I think it's a simulation. No, like, I've said this before. And like, it's it's like it's such a small thing in conversation. Unless you're mm-hmm. talking about it for an hour, then it's fucking weird. But if you happen to mention it, it's not that weird. Be yourself. But like, obviously, the more dates you want, you go on, the more comfortable you're going to get. Yeah. You can't just be a bot because they're not going to go want to go out with bot. you. I'm not right? a bot. Right. I don't there think are I some can, bots. I don't think though. I can be a bot. You can't be. It's not possible. I don't it's think not possible. So. But you're the more dates you go on. Yes. The more uh, of yourself they're going to find out about. But if you put it all off the table at dude, once, how long they have might you been dating, dude? Out. How long have I been dating? Dude, you've been in the game. Wait, like, should I, I even take advice from this guy, y'all? Oh, what the fuck? Because hold on. I'm, okay. 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 The viewers are asking. What credibility do you have? You what know? credibility do I have? Yeah. Okay, well, I've, I'm the same as you. I've had two girlfriends. Okay. I've been in the dating scene since... Damn. Wait, that's long, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. June, July... Wait, January, February, March, April, May... May June, 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 July, July August, September, November, December. About six to seven months. And you... Well, how many dates have you gone on with the like um when you go on a date with a person? How many dates have you gone on with the same person? The most has been four, four since me and my last girlfriend broke up. And then four is that like how serious is four dates? I honestly okay. Is it just fuck. based on? It's based on vibes. It's person. based on yeah. vibes. Like the person I went on four dates with that ended funny funnily. 
Like it it's was also like, like a tilting. When experience. do you start going from dates to like, oh, let's go just hang out at my house? It's it's really it, dude. It's so different for every person. Fuck me, dude. And it's it's up to you guys, and you have to decide that. Yeah. Like, you can do this after the first date. You know, everyone plays it differently. Personally, I don't really want someone that I just met in my fucking house. No, because like, what if they steal like my beer sauce merch? Bro? Yeah, exactly. Like, what if my, they're just a fan? Yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, my my most um like financially like <laughs> what is it uh my most expensive yeah most expensive item my beer sauce merch. Yeah, like what if they, what if they take that shit right? You you can't have that. Mm. And personally, for me, I would not do that. It would take a couple dates for me to actually get to know them and be like, yo, I'm comfortable with you in my house and like seeing my bathroom mm, dude that's because that's the thing one. right because i'm messy as fuck yeah so you think i would ha- definitely have to clean up yeah you would have to clean you'd have to clean your bathroom it's like really unflattering to have a fucking like disgusting house when you bring someone you think over. i have a disgusting house you don't have a disgusting house but i'm just saying in general if you had yeah. a disgusting house it's really unflattering it's just clothes though and i feel like a lot of girls have clothes everywhere so they might understand Maybe. Yeah, but the bathroom you have to clean like the hair out of the drain and shit. Ah, oh, because I shed, dude. That's yeah, not but my you're gonna fault. have to do it. You're gonna my have to fault. do it. And um, it's 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 that's like like, like you just it, it's. I need a nasty everyone. girl, dude. You need a nasty girl. Like, Why you say nasty like, like nasty, that, bro? Nasty, like nasty. Shit everywhere on the ground, hair everywhere, hair in the drain, like Dookie stain on the. Like, but do toilet. you want to see that? What does that say about them? Like, dude, if they knew you it's, were coming over and they just were like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to clean anything. Do you want them well, to that's like, view, them, view that's you that way? That's what I would do. Okay, well, then it, that would work for you. That wouldn't like, Maybe work that's me. my type of person. Just like somebody that doesn't care what people think about them to the point where they won't even clean up before you come over. Okay. Well, see, what, you, what you're doing now is developing your values. Holy dating. shit, yeah, y'all. Yeah, this is what you're doing right hey, now. So how do we start? Should I develop my values first? Well, what are you looking for? First off, you need to decide that. Oh, I don't know what you're shit, looking man. for, but you need to decide what you're looking for. For me, I'm looking for something long term. So if someone just wants to have sex with me, I'm not looking to do that. You good? Did you just put ammonia in your mouth? Yeah. That's really dangerous. So, okay, so let's start with that. Okay. What do I, Derek Zoo, 30 volunteer hours a week? <laughs> <laughs> goes to most, metro town winners most generous man of all time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. generous Why? boy generous boy great driver as well he'll drive you around anywhere it's because i'm fresh out of a relationship yeah and i'm not functional in a relationship okay i noticed this and this isn't a diss to my ex but i don't I have that long recharge time of socialization anymore being in a relationship to me as an avoidant attachment type was the most exhausting thing i've ever done okay well you're gonna have to work on that and it's gonna take practice so i shouldn't be in the relationship right now to be honest (laughs) okay well three like obviously i'm not expecting you to start fucking you see that on my laptop dude what was that dude that was you had a gay porn ad bro. i did not bro <laughs> dude i did shit, not I, have a gay porn ad bro. those like college guys lgbt <laughs> okay new year, bro okay 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 but just line um, just line um what the fuck was i saying well i was talking oh yeah about, oh yeah your values your values. based on my because i've been learning a lot about attachment type because no lie i was a toxic one y'all accountability oh, shit. accountability oh, shit. i respect you for that by the way yeah it, and I've, I I mean, you know how I used to talk about, like, if I used to hang out with people, I would need to recharge for, like, so long. Yeah. Yeah, that's gone. Like, a lot of it is gone. Well, like, you don't need because that. Because the relationship was so tiring. Because as an avoidant, being in a serious relationship is, like, the most well, exhausting was it, thing was in my it, head of all time. Once again, I'm no diss to your yeah. ex. Like, no diss. Like, all, like respect f- yeah. to them. Was it that relationship or all relationships? Or was it just that one? It was that one. Yeah, it, that doesn't mean what. it's going to be the next one. Yeah, well, Chugging. the thing is, when in a relationship, people, you, the expectation of who you are is so much higher, mm-hmm. right? Like, for example, giving gifts. This is just a small example. Yeah. But for Christmas, if I just straight up asked you what you wanted for Christmas, and then I got you the thing, so you wouldn't fun. even be cheesed. But you wouldn't be mad about it. No. And you wouldn't be like, wow, like, you wouldn't go complain to people about it. It wouldn't be that fun, but you would appreciate it. Yeah. You can't do that in a relationship, you know? If you if I just asked them what they wanted, and then she was like, oh, I want um, 
soda and mm-hmm. I just went to buy soda. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, like you didn't even think about it. There's so much of a higher expectation, right? Like, like not like it's different for each person that like that doesn't apply to every relationship. Dude, in my opinion, with girls, it does. That's okay. So not every single woman. Yeah, but dude, from because from your one experience. No, but dude, girls want to. Do you know any dude that wants to text their girlfriend every hour? Yes. Other than dudes that you yes. think would be women, like on the down low. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a big generalization, but yeah, I feel like generally that is true. Like I, even on social media. Like girls always complain about how their partner never posts them, but have you ever seen a guy complain about that? Right? And how many girls out there are are willing to be with a guy that will never post them? Because well, that's you me. don't post, dude. You know what well, I? You want to is... get posted on the beer sauce story? You know what I think is more fucking important that you are open to them coming on the show. Yeah, because this is your fucking baby. Exactly. Which you are comfortable with, so I think that's a bigger deal. I think because you don't post on Instagram in general. I bro. know. And it's like, I'm not one of those people that are like, let's take a selfie unless it's for content or if it's like, if Fa- it's no, so- dude, face mask selfie to post on VSCO, bro. Face mask. See, selfie. I'm, that's like <laughs> hella. <Gabagoo. laughs> I cannot say that. If you're a man with Visco. No. What's up? We know some guy. You're calling out some motherfuckers. Bro. Yeah. You calling out some motherfuckers right now. So like, what's up? You know, like, what's going on in your head? That's for the girls. That's for the girls. You know, leave them alone. Leave them alone. (laughs) Because we know, guys, you're calling out motherfuckers that we know, bro. Yeah. Okay. And I'll never... To me, the reason... I know people are going to be like, why don't you post your partner on Instagram? No wonder she left you. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't post in general. No, but it's not about the posting. It's more of a principle to me that I want my self-esteem to be hopefully one day based on 100% what I think of myself and 0% on what other people think of me. And I think if you start posting on stories of you having fun or like, look at my girlfriend, I think it ruins that value for me a little bit. Well, hopefully your fucking next partner will understand that. Like I think people that post a lot on social media are just doing it for attention I want my self-worth to be from my own attention. And you say that hopefully your next partner won't be like that. But do you even know anybody that thinks like that? Dude, are you fucking hungry, bro? No. What the fuck noise was that, bro? Did you just... That happens to me if I hold in a poop. I don't even have to poo. I don't even up. have to poo. What was that? I don't know. Don't don't look at... Don't risk me like that. F- I don't know what the fuck that was. Dude, you know what I need to learn? What's up? Eye contact. You are bad at eye contact. You look at people's fucking foreheads, bro. Dude, I have so much to learn. I don't think we can even finish this in this episode. No, okay, we need well, a structure. How do we structure this? Okay, fuck. Okay, you know what? First, so first thing is, first, is your first date. First is, we know what I want now. I yeah. can't be in a relationship right now. I will be the worst. Okay. I'm the worst. Yeah. So, well, it's going to take practice. Yeah. And then you might get into a situationship. And then that situationship might turn into a relationship or it might die down. Who knows? First date. First date. How do I know I want to go on a date with this person? How do you know you want to go like on a date with this person? Text? Um, sometimes it depends. If you're on a dating app, you can fucking usually I think tell. Be dating app. If Ooh, you think you'd be dating app? I don't want to use dating apps, but how would you meet people? You can ask for their number. I, I've done that before. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've asked for people's numbers. That was actually how I met my second girlfriend. I, I feel like it's just too early for me to go on a dating app right now. No, it is. It is. You know how fucking cheesed? Dude, if you went on like Hinge and you saw my ex... Would you be? Fucking- Would you tell me? Yes. Don't, bro. You don't? No, nah, actually, tell me. Tell me. Tell I would. I would tell no, you I just like because, I like, it's know. it's truth. I'm just gonna be but, truthful with you, even if dude, the truth hurts. I, I I think I'd be really tilted. Yeah. Like I think I'd be unbelievably tilted because <laughs> it's been like it's it hasn't been that long. But that's the thing. I don't want to be the tilter. Don't. Okay. Well, no, and I respect you for that. It would be weird if you started dating right now. Yeah. I'd be like, dude. From my opinion, like you know yourself best, but it's it's it hasn't been that long. It's been a couple of weeks, and you're already back at it again. Like that's fucking crazy. Like, take a break, bro. Like you got. I, I never really got to breathe for a what second. people meant by like they're not ready for a relationship. Yeah. Until I realized that I'm just 
I'm I'm not functional in a relationship. I'm not a functional human well, being. Well, you're going to have to practice, bro. I know. You can't you can't not be in a relationship until you're, until you're 45. Cuz in my head, I thought that if I was in a relationship, I would just start becoming functional. But you the, have to try. Yeah, the reality was it started getting worse and worse. Yeah. Where like my avoidant attachment type. And I don't want to get too deep in attachment theory, but it's sort of just like I'm so uncomfortable with someone being that close with me subconsciously that I will just subconsciously hate and like dread it. Even though I want it, I know consciously I want it. My subconscious hates it. And your subconscious is powerful, dude. Okay, well, you have to train your subconscious. Is it, This isn't like what I'm asking you to do right now isn't an easy task. Like I'm aware of that. I know. It's going to take years of practice. But if you want a child, Xiao Young, which yeah, you do, I do want a child. This I, need guy, to, I need to find the mother this of my guy, kids. This, this guy says he's having baby fever at 21. That's fucking crazy, by the way. I have baby fever. I just think that's crazy. But if you want a baby, if you just want to be a solo dad, which I respect, just no. adopt the kid. Okay, well, then you're going to have to find the one, bro. And that's going to take practice. I'm not saying it's going to happen within the next 10 years. I'm not going to say it's happened within the next 20 years. Yeah. But you need to start working at it to be functional in a relationship. And it takes practice. I'm not expecting you to start it tomorrow. That would be unnatural, as we've talked about. But it's going to take effort in order to bring yourself so, to this level of operation. Let's say I go on a date. Yeah. How do you convey it to them that maybe you're not looking for long term? Well, you know, what's you, have great, to, you should do that. What's fucking great about a dating app is you can say that. Uh, I only use Hinge. But as and on Hinge, I have it as long term monogamy nice you can also do short-term short -term polygamy um, yeah yeah so if you want that put it as that right but doesn't that kind of make you like a little bit slutty like yeah it's basically saying i'm, I'm trying, trying to fuck, fuck. yeah well it, would you rather people well, you don't even have to like like i want them to know but i'm kind of embarrassed because like what if someone that's like that we know sees my page and it's like short-term polygamy like it's basically just like i want a threesome right and it's like that's embarrassing <laughs> and they're gonna screenshot it and show it to their friends like oh this guy he... you know what my, my fucking that happens dude yeah that's and that's true. okay it's hard to meet people like it's really hard dude like i've been in the game for like seven months i've been on a decent amount of dates i've started dating less just because it is tilting yeah are you it, tilted right now i've had some tilting burnt out yeah, I'm going on a date with um a girl that I actually met while I was in school. Oh, I was in the radio shit. I was in the radio department and she was in the journalism department. And then one day she liked me on hinge. So she would be going on here. This was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I don't even I don't even remember the fucking timeline, but this was a while ago. Then um she was she was like with her family in like a different part in a different fucking province. Where? Expose, I'm not, expose. I'm not, I'm not gonna blast her. I'm not gonna Come put on. her on like Gabagoo. You white? Yeah, I think. Dude, you're a diverse guy. I respect I know, it. I know, huh? Dude, maybe I should be more diverse. Yeah, you're 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 only focused on the whites right now, bro. Wait, can you say no whites? No. <laughs> you can't. I think you can. You can say no whites. I think you, you can, can say no whites. I used bro. To, I had I had dating apps like two years ago, and I think there was one with racial preference, dude. It was either Bumble, Hinge, or Tinder, because those are three. Okay, I well, had. if you want to do no whites, you can do no whites. But she is white. Um, we're going on, we're, we're, we're going to the fucking cat cafe, mm. uh, like in a week. I have no idea. Um, I don't know how that came up, but yeah, Dude, this is like, is that your spot? No, I've gone there twice. This is going to be my second time. <laughs> okay, I, okay. cause like planning a date is really hard, dude. You're going to learn, like, I know you don't like making plans in general. Yeah. Planning a date, which usually falls on the guy. Aww. Usually, usually falls on the guy. It is really hard. And there's an art to planning a first date. Th there's a fucking art there's a formula to it okay i wrote the formula on my phone for you Hold, if okay. you'd like to know get this me, wisdom get me okay so um first off is you need to have a good activity in mind okay okay and what makes a good activity what makes a good activity for me is personal it, it needs me. to be fun yeah people go on dates to have fun but i feel right? like i could just sit down with somebody and talk to them and, you know yeah, that's that that that's, that, fun. that's a great time, yeah. right? But what I like to do, this is what I like to do. It's the Nico special. I like to plan an act, and this is if I really like them. Okay, like some uh -huh. I've gone on dates where we just walked around and talked because I was like going to walk type. Thing. Okay, about I was like you know what, like I kind of don't give a shit. Um, my fault. Um, but what I like to do is if I really want to try, you plan a fun activity with food. Okay, Ooh. this can either be ring making, cat cafe, bunny cafe biking biking's kind of rough for a first date you don't might not want to do that or 
painting. But so let's say I'm at the picnic. Bunny, let's say I'm at the cat cafe and bunny cafe, right? Yeah. There's other people there. The small room. Yeah. And people will clearly be able to tell on a first date because we're gonna be like, so what do you so, do? So this is what you do. Oh, is you go on, you get fucking food first. First. And then you go to the bunny cafe so you can warm up to each other. Okay. Right. But you know how I eat. What could I eat? Oh, because dude, Derek, you I, are a messy eater. Bro. I eat like. You took a food away from like a Neanderthal for a week straight, and then you put the like, most delicious looking feast in front of them every single time. People tell yeah. me I eat like a mongrel. Yeah, you do. You are a rough eater, bro. You are a rough eater. But it's like that's me. So do I suppress it? Which I'm, I'm fine with try suppressing to, my eating. Yeah, try. Just try your best, bro. <laughs> like, cause the way you eat, dude, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Dude, it is, it but is it's like delicious. Yeah, but okay, don't get bad food then. Get bad food. Oh yeah, but it's Purposely also a cultural thing. It's a cultural thing. Don't Chi- use the cultural no, no. shit. Chinese you are whitewashed, people... bro. Yeah, but ch- dude, I but I've been eating dinner with Chinese people for like eighteen. Oh, like okay, 20... okay, okay. Why'd I say eighteen? I don't know. Twenty-one. Do you think you're eighteen? Yeah. Well, that was weird. <sighs> but want to be a kid. But um, so just try your best to su- to to suppress your appetite. Because dude, or... it's not even like I'm messy, but I also eat. Like when it's good, you make noise. I go like this. Yeah, you do. Okay, just try to suppress um, that. Eat like nuts. Dude, yo, do you like it? <laughs> no, see, That's really what I do. I'd fucking like leave, bro. But but if I went on a date with a girl and she ate like that, oh, she's the one. She's the one, dude. She's I one. that would be awesome. She's the right? one. Yeah, she's the one. Do you think me being a messy eater will make them more comfortable, or do you think? Oh, oh I didn't think about that. Right? It's it's a fifty fifty. I feel like I'm a it's walking a ick, dude. You think you're a walking ick? Yeah. Damn. I don't think that. I think everyone has their own like. What if I eat qualities. grapes? Weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if I? Who's meet? our friend that said that? Amy, right? No, it was her friend. Oh, it was Amy's friend. I forgot. But it's like it's small shit like that. Yeah. I just feel like I do things weird, okay, bro. If someone eats grapes weird, you can't do anything about that. You can't do anything about that. This is like dating is you're just going through a filter of people. I've gone on so many days with people and it just doesn't work out, bro. Yeah. Fuck, no, man. Because no, what, what you're going to find is it's going to be really easy f- for you to get a date. I promise you, bro. People are going to look at you, be like, oh, fuck, and try to get you on a date, right? It's going to be really easy for you. What's hard is finding someone with the same values as you. And sometimes a date goes so bad, you get new values. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've gone on a date no so bad way. where I've gotten new values. Yeah. Your life changed. Yeah. So, shout out to them then. They changed their values. Yeah, but... What, they, ha- what was that? So, I went on a date with this one girl. I called it after an hour and 15 minutes, I think. Like, That's I called short. it. It was so That's, bad. Yeah, okay. it was so. It was, like, probably the worst date of my life. She was the one that didn't fucking say anything. She, she didn't say anything? No, she was... Like, I had to fucking... I did 90% of the talking. She did, never asked me a question about myself. She never talked. Like, I had to talk you, most of the What did you guys time. do? We fucking walked around because I didn't really give a shit. And so I was, she just never... No, I had to get everything out of her. Oh. I have, And then she told me she was a Cactus Club girly. And I was like, oh, I don't know what you want me to so say about that. So what value that. changed of yours? Um, no well, Cactus Club girls? No, no, no. What, <laughs> the value that changed was I need my partner to understand the value of money. Ah. She had her dad's credit card. She's never worked a second in her life. Yeah. Which I understand she was like in nursing. I understand that. You're dude, one going... day she'll make bank though. Yeah. You could have but... invested in her, dude. No. No, it was not worth That could have been an investment. But she was like, oh yeah, I just had my dad's credit card. Like, fuck. Like, and I bought her her, I bought her like her drink anyways. But even though I knew let's that. Let's use daddy's money. And she, like, she just did not say thank you. Like, I need you to understand the value of money. And that was a value I didn't know I needed. Ooh. But you're going to learn these the more dates you, you go out You didn't realize on. you wanted that out of somebody. Yeah. Well, one of the questions is, do I drive? What do you mean? Do I pull up in like an $80,000 car? If you want. But then, but I, but how do I convey that we're splitting it still? You want to split it on the first date? I'm, we're splitting it every date. Okay. Even if you ask them? No, it's different. I'm just assuming they asked me because I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking cock, bro. For people I don't know, when I got my inheritance, because when my dad died, I just got a car because I was really down bad. <laughs> but my mom was really nice and she was like, I will help you out because she was like, I fucked you up as a kid, so I'm going to help you out with this. Was it a smart decision? It's a lease. I didn't buy it, but yeah. 
Was it a smart decision? No. Did you fuck your son up? Yes. So you gotta help out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I love my car. I love I love going places. I yeah. love driving. Okay, well then drive there. But the thing is, dude, it's just sort of like there's a there's a thing in the mm-hmm. culture of dating where the guy pays for it a lot. Right? Yeah, I do. Now I, I need to find time. a person where we can split it. Most dates. A lot of people that I've been on dates with. I, I always like it's 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 actually the most awkward part of the date. The most awkward part oh. of the date is when you it's 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 your first date, okay? Yeah, and then you're God. at a restaurant, I'm the bill comes, it. the bill comes, or the, the the server comes up and they're like, Do you want it together or separate? Like I look at I look <laughs> at them, I'm like, I don't fucking know. What the fuck do I say? If I say separate, will they like me or not like me? Oh my god, I'm stressing the fuck out. So now, no matter what, I just I instantly say together. Because I get too stressed out about it, I don't but, want to deal with it. Like, so do it's you like think it's weird to talk about that before the date? Um, I don't know. I've never tried that before. It's like because you should be honest, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, if if yeah, that works. If and you wouldn't be that like, be hey. like? Wouldn't that look make me look like a great communicator, even though I'm really bad? And yeah. then. Like three dates in, they realize I'm really bad, but they're already three <laughs> dates in. But no, so they're locked in. Right? <laughs> yeah, try that. Try that. Because like, if like... it works, it works. But once again, it's gonna be a trial and error, dude. You're you're gonna have no problems. This attracting... doesn't sound fun anymore. Yeah, I know. I know. It's not fun. It I'm, sounds, making, I'm want... making it sound not fun because it's not fun. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm well, not going on dates, it's, bro. It's too bad, bro. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> I just feel like I don't know if this is like ignorant. Yeah. I feel like there's not a lot of people with the same values as me. There's not a lot of people with the same values as me either. We're fucked. We're fucked. No, we're no, no, be, no. We're no, single no, boys for every, life. Single, single for, boys single, for life. Single, single for life. boys for life. For life. Bro. For life. For life. But it's <laughs> everyone has different values, dude. Everyone has different values. So why isn't there an algorithm-based service where you imp- you implement and you put in your values into like a questionnaire <clears> and then they find you the one? Why isn't that a thing? There are things like that, but you can't. It's very hard. Like there like, are there's there's services like that. Am I a genius right now? Like, no, what? those are services like because that. Because it sounds like you're gambling with each date, and there's like a five percent success rate. But yeah, like five percent is not a lot, and you're spending your money and you're spending your time on this date just for it most for for it to most likely not go well. Mm-hmm. Because there, you should be able to like, sh- is it normal to talk about your values prior to the date so you can even like cut them off before you even go on the date so you don't waste your time? Well, you can see like you can you can you can like um like can I drop a. What would you do if I stabbed my mom? Yeah. No, so I've, I've had like, um, like I've had like, so what are you looking for? And you know what? This one girl, I actually Ooh. really, I really liked her. Um, We ended up not going on a second date because like, I don't know actually why we didn't go on a second date. But um, at the end of the first date, I love this. She was like, she was like, so what do you think about this? Oh, I really like that good, a lot. That's good because you can like be communicative yeah like she like since my last girlfriend that date i was like oh my god like i, I really like you like let's go on what a- happened i don't know what happened it was really weird um well, what was your answer to the what do you think about this i was like this fucking went great like i really like this i but because I, I, do you feel like people are really bad at communicating in the dating scene yeah yeah and i think that's why it didn't work because be prior to our first date i planned the first date and she said Thank you. Like she said something along the lines of thank you for planning this one. Ooh. If the first one goes well, I'll plan the second one. Ooh. Right. So then after our first date, I was like, I texted her like a week, maybe like a week later. I was like, yo, when do you want to hang out? Like, do you want to hang out again? Like what days work for you? Like, when do you want to do something? She's like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Right. And we're texting back. Like she's texting me back like every like one to two days. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, which is not that bad actually, because I'm imagining she's texting other people because she's on a dating app, yeah. right? No, well, we're te- we're texting each other on our phone numbers okay. at this point. But um, then the day comes, she never texts me, and I'm like, this was like I, she said she would plan it, yeah, right? Um, maybe she forgot or some shit. But the day comes, we don't text. It's like I don't want to be forgotten about, you yeah. know? Like even prior, like the day before. Cause she just was not, she was not texting me at all, which is fine. You have your own life that you're living. But I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just not going to text you the day before just to see like, if you even want to go on this with me. And she didn't text me. Then the day of, she didn't text me. Mm -hmm. But then a couple days later, she keeps sending me Instagram memes. Mm. And I'm like, why is she doing that? Like I respond to it 
And I'm like, that's a funny meme, bro. <laughs> that's what you say. <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, <laughs> like that's funny. I, that's really funny, bro. We should watch this on our date. We should have watched this together on our date. And then, as of recent, yeah, what she if, started liking my stories. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. What if she's listening right now? What's up, bro? <laughs> Why didn't you go on a second date with him? But I just think we had a miscommunication. But we kind of we like missed that window for us yeah, to go out on a second yeah, date. So, so you just have to call it, right? What do you think about but, my texting thing? For you guys that don't know. I have this value of mine where I really don't like texting. I feel like it infringes on my alone time. It doesn't make me feel connected to a person because it doesn't feel like we're talking. It, we're texting. It's two different yeah, things. Yeah. And when I'm at home, I want to be alone. I don't want to have someone come into my life through a device while I'm having my really, really like mm -hmm. looked at, like for looking for, I was looking forward to my alone time. Yeah. So I don't like to text a lot. I, in fact, I would say I hate it. Okay. Can I even get by in the dating scene or do I just have to flex? Be yeah, flexible yeah with you this? can. Yeah, you can. Like, once again, back to the uh, woman that I was just talking about, right? She was, she wasn't texting, like, she was texting me, like, once every, like, like two days, maybe, yeah. like, one to two days. But then right? do people, and think I was that... fine with it. Yes, but you were friends with me. Yeah. But I, I kind of, like, at the beginning of a relationship, you kind of want to show them you are interested. Yeah. Cause that's, and a the way thing. you show them you're interested is, trying to um keep that spark going electronically which i don't necessarily like to do but i'm starting to realize like because if, if i don't see you like some of my best friends i don't fucking text them yeah at all until we hang out and i'm and the only times we talk is like yo when do you want to hang out yeah right but in these early stages you have to be okay with kind of folding a little bit and messaging them messaging them because you have to show them you're interested yeah, that's, that's a way thing, you right? show them yeah right because i could be totally interested in the person but that doesn't make me that doesn't make me want to text yeah. them but they need to know that i'm interested yeah. and i can't give them the whole spiel of like oh i'm actually like my value is like this and then yeah. i don't like texting and then they're gonna get freaked this. the fuck out yeah right oh so it's a very exhausting process you can see why it's tilting and i have had such tilting experiences where i've had to fucking text you and call alex <laughs> for like 30 minutes because my experiences were so fucking tilting do you think it's okay to just like when they're like what are you looking for can you say i don't know because i don't know i was thinking about it this whole time i don't know what i'm looking for is that a valid answer yes we'll see yeah i'm a we'll see yes. guy i'm on a planner no, yes i mean yeah yeah like that dude people fucking put that in the profile they're like oh i don't know just looking for friends it's like, first off, I don't want to be your fucking friend, bro. Most. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, you can say that. And uh, and the and the right person for you is going to be like, okay, valid as fuck. Okay. So I chose the cat cafe. I yeah. chose a girl to go on a date with. Mm -hmm. I said, what did I say? Would you like to go on this date with me at the cat cafe? When are you free? I would love to have you come with me. <laughs> that sounds like you're Dahmer. So you have okay. to... But it was text. Okay, it's text. Okay, it's text is different. Oh, okay. No, I'm asking someone for their number. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Um, I just saw you walking by, and I thought you were very, very good looking. <laughs> Don't say good looking. Okay. Hey. 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 <laughs> Hi. My name's Derek. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Don't do this, bro. Why not? Don't do this. Hi. 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 If you're standing right in front of them and you go, hi, 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 hi. No, I, I was thinking I ran, like, after Oh, them. like what I did? Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. Because, like, if if I just go up to you and I'm standing there, it just looks like, it looks like I was, like, asking for people's numbers around that area. Yeah. But if I'm running towards you, it looks okay, like I saw true, you and I was like, true, oh, true, shit, true. she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Dude, you know what people are going to be confused by? What? People are gonna be like, wait, he, she, he keeps saying she. Like, why is he <laughs> saying he, bro? <laughs> Yo, why aren't they, <laughs> dude, why aren't they talking like, about I guys? They were gay. I thought they were gay. <laughs> Yo, sorry, y'all. Yo, sorry, sorry y'all. Sorry, I'm sorry to disappoint hey, y'all. Hey, uh, my name is Derek. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Amelia. Amelia, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. Derek is the average name, bro, but it's cool. Actually, it's not my real name. Oh, what's your real name? It's my white name. What's your real name? I, I'm not going to tell you unless you go on this date with me tomorrow. Okay, well, I guess I have to. Tomorrow? That's soon, bro. Well, I have to whenever you're free. I was just that excited. Okay. Yeah. I okay. was so excited that I said tomorrow subconsciously. That was a yeah. Freudian slip, if you know what I'm saying. Don't say don't say the word slip. Don't say the word slip. So. But that was like a good interaction. Okay. We're at the cat cafe. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, but like, okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my God. You're not, okay. Rizmi was smelling salts. Oh, dude, I get squirting everywhere. 
Dude, you don't really enjoy that one bit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, Amelia. Remember me? Oh, wait, we planned this date. Actually, not remember me. Hey, That's actually really funny. <laughs> That's actually really funny. You should do that. Okay, no, no. Get... What are you, where are you going? Where do you go? Where are you grabbing right now? This guy fucking got up to grab some shit. Oh my god, that's so fucked. Okay, I'm putting this on. I don't know where my. I had a girl wig. Remember the girl wig that Juno gave us? I think it's at my house, bro. You took it? I probably bit well, you. Well, we by used accident. it for Zesties. Wow, you look a lot like this guy, that the social media. Well, is he cute? Yeah, he goes in the library. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, oh. okay, okay. So I, I, you got there first. Cause okay. I'm late, so I'm I'm waiting on my phone. No I'm lie, late. I'm late. I'm late. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, late. Yeah. <laughs> try to show up. Try, try to show up like not more than okay. ten minutes late. Okay. Oh hey Amelia, how are you? It's oh, great hi. to see you. <laughs> so see that's your first mistake. Is you where we hug? Is you fucked up on the handshake or hug? You fucked up. Bro. So what do you do? You have to let them make the first move. Cause my goal is to make you feel comfortable. Oh. And if you go in for the hug, I will follow you. But what but if, if they don't want... do anything? Then it's, then you don't do anything and you just play it off. You have you have enough social charisma where you can play it off. Okay, okay, okay. So so if I go for one, the handshake, and I'm gonna you adapt. need to follow. Okay, okay I'm gonna. But adapt. if I go for the hug, you have to. I'm gonna hug. adapt. Okay, okay. Amelia, hey, it's good Hi, to see you. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, <laughs> you see what I did? <laughs> I went oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Cause I'm gonna... So, uh, what? Sorry, I'm I'm a little bit late. I have this thing called Crohn's. <laughs> oh man, you fuck, you keep fucking it, bro. Okay, I can't. Can, can, want to actually be serious. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm, I'm dead serious. Okay. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna like let's actually. Like, okay, I'm gonna. I gave play this I gave out. you some good coaching today. I gave you some of my wisdom that doesn't work for me. Let's see if it works I'm gonna, for you. Let's play this out like it's real. Okay, okay. I need to get in character of Amelia. Okay. Oh, hey, Amelia. It's good to see you. I'm getting oh, in character, sorry. bro. I'm getting in character. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, hey, Amelia. It's good to see you. Hi. How are you? Uh, Derek, right? I, yes. Oh, I'm good. God. How are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said real. <laughs> this, okay. this is real. What if she gave you a kiss on the cheek? No, come on. Come on. Come okay, on. Come on. Okay. I want to actually practice. Okay. Okay. Dude. Okay. 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 So we hugged. Okay. We just hugged. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I uh, ran into traffic. And oh. Okay, I'm not late. Okay, how about I'm not? Hey, so uh, how long have you been here? Oh, just I literally just got here like 20 seconds oh, okay, ago. Okay, cool, cool. Do you like cats? Honestly, not super into them, oh. but but I'm I you have open? an open mind. I have, I have an open mind. They always call me Amelia Open. <laughs> Amelia Open? What are you laughing about, <laughs> dude? <laughs> what are you laughing? Do you know what they used to call me? What? Derek Open. Are you serious? Yeah, Derek Open <laughs> asshole. <laughs> They used to call me Amelia Spread. <laughs> Dude. Dude. I think I would fall in love if that was the first conversation ever on the first date, dude. Oh my god. Dude, Amelia, Amelia spread. Amelia spread. Dude, I don't think we could do a serious role play. Uh, that was not, I can't do this. Bro. Dude, I can't take you seriously with the I thought I had a girl wig. You kind of just look clapped. <laughs> I just kind of look like my actual hair. Yeah. Just like a little bit longer. No, you look like a caveman. Okay. Now we go in. Okay. Oh, did you want did you want something to drink? Uh, I don't. Maybe just a water for right now. Thank you. Oh yeah, me too. Th thank God. What do you? Okay. <laughs> don't say thank God. Okay, I don't want to do the cat cafe anymore, dude. Okay. Let's do a restaurant because this is what I actually need to. Okay. Know. With actually just drinks. What do you? No, like what do you talk about? Um, this is something I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you all my trade secrets. Okay. Like genuinely, like, because when we talk, I don't ask you what you do. Oh, what do you do? Something that I like to ask. Okay, something I like mm -hmm. to ask is an open-ended question, but it gets people talking and I get to learn a lot about them. I say, hey, Derek, if your life was a TV show, who would be the main characters in it? What would be some of the storylines? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That, and I'm saying, what are some of the villains of each season? And then it just keeps that conversation going. I, but if I got asked that, it'd just be my dad for like three seasons. Okay, well, them knowing about your dad, that's a huge thing that happened red in your flag, life. Bro. Not a red flag. I don't think... Dude, you... Th 
if someone's dad is fucking dead, that's not a red flag. It's just something that happened to them. Yeah, but I feel like that it's the, the the dead dad part isn't necessarily the red flag. It's the effects of that event that's the potential red flag. And then you can talk about, hey, this is how it impacted me. Something I really respect Fuck. about you. Something I really respect about you is your ability to self analyze yourself in a way that doesn't make you sound like a fucking weirdo dickhead. Mm. When we were talking really? about when we were talking about your breakup, you were like, you didn't attack the other person at all. I, you were like, hey, yeah, I don't like that. It's, this is where it's, I fucked it's up. It's lame if you do that. Like, like obviously, I'm not saying the other person was fucking perfect. Usually, yeah. if a relationship fails, it's both people's faults, right? Yeah. Um, like I can I can totally reflect on my past relationships. Mm-hmm. Be like, holy shit, this is where I fucked up like really badly. I should not have done that. Yeah. Um, and you like the fact that you just did not go after them. You're like, yeah, this is where I fucked up. This is what I need to learn. Mm-hmm. W- not once, even to, on camera. Have you fucking gone after the other person? You've just totally talked about yourself, the fact that you're not ready and the stuff that you need to recognize. I think the biggest thing that could come off weird is my boundaries. I have very weird... I'm not going to say weird, but I think people can interpret it as weird boundaries. Like, I'm very, very independent. If I feel like I'm my independence is being like controlled in any way, like I will like ghost you, bro. For like a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like how, communicating these boundaries that are inherently red flags is going to be my downfall, dude. Well, it's it, what 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 it, what it comes down to is expressing your feelings in a way that can be understood. It, it, it's hard. It's really hard to find someone with the same values as you, mm. bro. You're going to have no issue getting these first dates. Yeah. Like what, what, what what's going to matter is, is there even potential for a second, third, fourth? But I still date, can't right? grasp what you talk about on the first date. You do. It's just it, like it's beer sauce. It's an F fucking episode, but except it's an interview. It's a okay. dating truly at its heart is a disguised job interview. Okay. Ooh. You're trying to ask them questions that are not straight up interview questions, but you want to be able to get a grasp of who this person is within a three hour period to see if there's something there for a second date. But you can't just go straight out of the gate. Yo, so like, are you trying to just have sex with me right now? Yeah. What's your family situation like? Do you, like, what do you do for a job? You need to let yeah, it. Do you happen. think it's cool to ask like how many dates they've been on? Like from that, I've like, been asked that been before. On? Yeah, I've been. I feel I've like never that's, asked that. It's transparent. I feel like I don't think that should be a bad question, but it could be interpreted as bad. It. it you know? Did you um, interpret it as like offensive? Like I didn't interpret it as offensive, but what I do interpret it as is them judging. I don't know you well enough mm. to feel comfortable like not being judged by you. So that's why a lot of people conceal who they are at first because they're really afraid of being judged, right? More than some more than others. But when someone asks you, so how many dates have you been on, right? At the time when this one girl asked me, I probably was been on like six or seven. So I answered honestly. Yeah. And they're like, okay, because this is only my second one. And I was like, okay. But I cool. feel like that's something I don't know. I also do want to know like when their last relationship was. On my first date, if I go on like a first date, like first ever first date, yeah, I'm gonna play into the I've never been on a date thing. That's the play. I'll be like, oh, like what do we talk about? If if it gets quiet, I'm like, oh, now what? Because I've never no, been ne- on a date. don't say no, now what. Never, no, never, no, never, you, never mind. It's like a podcast. I thought I was cooking, but I didn't hear the cook. steer the conversation cook. where you want it to go. To my more brain is weird, man. That's Bro. I think I'm like a little insecure about that if I go on a first date. Like, what if I ask about like conspiracy theories dude conspiracy theory, conspiracy theories are a normal conversation no but what if i right? believe in them well, <laughs> the, well there's a reason why like the called. aliens made the pyramids dude yeah that's true i'm trying to figure out like what values i want to cut out before like after before the first date ends you know like things that are, i need to know before the first date ends to know if i want to go on a second date with you like, I def- it's, it's, some people don't want to talk about their previous relationships I think that's fine, fine for me. I tried to ask someone multiple times when their last relationship was. Multiple times. They didn't give me a straight answer. They didn't Dude, give me a straight what answer. What if it was like a week ago? Like I need to know yeah, that. Yeah, right? Some, but people will lie to you sometimes. I've been lied to like I've been lied to before. And it is it's what a, it is. Dude, this world is brutal. It sounds like. like I, maybe I, I'm painting it like worse than I am. The people in the comments might be like, dude, this guy's had it like rough. Rough. But you know why, <clears> dude? What's up? I think I just think people were our age are just a little bit. People like, are developed. You you can go on a date with someone that has had like 17 boyfriends and you're like, oh, that's really intimidating. And then the next week you can go on a date with someone that if this is their first date ever. I know it's time. so Because we're in that weird age, yeah. age range where 
like I've previously just went on a date with someone that I was like, like they've never like they don't date at all, ah. right? And then previously I was out on a date with someone that like was like busy as fuck, mm-hmm. you know. I wonder. <clears throat> I wonder what would happen if I dated a, an avoidant attachment type. Like, what would happen? Like, would the world explode? Well, what's happened to us? What? I'm an avoidant, or no, not avoidant attachment. Oh, sorry, I, I fucked up. Yeah, because like, would we just never talk? <laughs> yeah, but that wouldn't. And I understand that the, the concept of that to me seems fine, but in reality, it would mean that we literally don't love each other. And I understand that, that concept is actually really bad. Well, you, that's why you need to challenge yourself, bro. Yeah. You're giving a bunch of these what-if scenarios. Like, you need to just do it. And you're, you'll are you figure it out as, as you go. So, okay, so you'll get feelings. When you're on the date, if they're if they're the right person for you, mm. you're going to get that feeling. If they're not, you're going to know, like, right away. Sometimes it takes a bit. Like, it took me four dates to realize I didn't like somebody. Dude, like, I just feel like such a fucking waste of time. Yeah, it is. You think... it be okay if i saw someone's instagram and i was like i can't go on a date with this person because it looks like a red flag yes okay in my opinion yeah me too i've never let it stop me before even though i've seen some red dude you ever dated somebody with the guy best friend uh no yeah but i feel like i'd be what would you do i'd be fine with it i think i don't know if i would really i think i want to say i would but okay yeah i yeah. don't know like i because especially if he's hot oh if he's really good looking i'm not gonna like that at all yeah but what if he's gay then it's fine no but what if he's a little bit straight oh, God, in the gayness you know when people are like gay you know when people are straight and they have a little bit gay like us yeah but they're what gay, if but he's gay but has a little bit straight you're like that motherfucker is not gay like, bro like i know that guy's I not gay i just saw that guy check Kevin someone out is not gay i just saw someone check like dude gay best friends have it fucking easy like dude dude like they can go up to a girl smack him on the booty and the girl will be like hell yeah girl and then if i do it it's sexual assault it's sexual assault and it's all because he likes guys i wa- i caught him watching sports i saw kevin watching sports <laughs> you saw no yeah which sport was it though football mm. so Kevin like, is not a game Kevin's, Kevin's not gay bro okay i i feel like i i, w- I would like to say i could it might be like I would like to say I could. Maybe I couldn't in the moment. If he's really yeah, hot, if he's know. Timothy Chalamet. And he's going to pick her girl up. Like, he's going to pick her up. You no, know? Like, thing, and what's, twirl. what's fucked is I can't even pick her up because I'm five foot six. That's what's fucked is I can't even pick her up, but he can. And he's a better man than me. Oh, my God. Do you know what made me kill myself? What? If I went on a date with a girl and she was like, oh, you don't really look like the photos. That's happened to me before. You? No, 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 no. I've oh. I've been on dates with girls where I'm like, that you just did that did not look like you, bro. No, I'm saying like if they said I didn't look like the photo, yeah, I'd go home. I would cry. Yeah, like I think I would cry. Yeah, I'm fragile. Right but if now. they say you look better, that's great. But if it's it, it has, has negative energy, okay, y'all. In it. So if you want to go on a date with me, <laughs> I feel like this is a dangerous. Yeah, you cannot go there, bro. No, never mind. Okay, well, you know what? You send know what? me dating tips. Send me yeah. dating tips. Girls. Where can, where, where can they send dating tips? Girls. Girls, girls. We need dating tips. He does too. It's not just me. He does too. <laughs> it's not working out here yet. E-R-S-O-S-P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Beer Sauce Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. DM us and give us good tips that only you girls would know. Because yeah. we need Reveal that. the secrets. Reveal, Reveal the, secrets. the secrets. Check out the Beer Sauce Podcast to keep up with highlights, lore, and what's going on in the Beer Sauce world. Derek. You know what? I'm glad we could have had this conversation today. Wait, I got you want to you want to do your Christmas gift? You you brought it? Well, it's just it's my house. No, I mean like I don't have my Christmas gift. No, but, gift not, for but you. it's on camera, bro. On camera. Okay, on camera, bet. On camera. Oh my god, wait, I feel bad, dude. No. Mine's No, we have to do it at the same time, bro. Okay fine. okay, fine, but the cameras are going, bro. You know what? Never mind. You're right. Same time. It has to be same time. Same cause, time. Cause, cause we're, we're doing Christmas legit this year. Yeah, Christmas legit this year. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Fucking yeah. I'm glad, Derek. I'm glad we could have this conversation to sit down. You know, roll out, get get any of these knots and kinks out before it actually starts. I hope. You know, I didn't seem like a little douche. Like, you know what? I hope I didn't seem like a picky ass guy. But I feel like you have to be picky if you you want to date somebody that fits you well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And here's the thing is. Every, like, if people think this is super nitpicky, like, that's just your preferences. It's not like your, it's not like your nitpicks are, um, 
like unbelievably like they can't eat fucking strawberries yeah that's just weird Wait, everything you're saying is i agree with last question what's up what if they order a bunch of like expensive stuff at the restaurant uh one of my friends that happen? One, one of my girlfriends said that she ordered um like not like my girlfriend like a friend of mine who was a girl she didn't like a guy because he lied about his height um he said that he was i think he was five foot six but he actually Ooh. said he was five foot like 11 or five foot 10 or something that is a big difference dude yeah you and she racked up like a bill of like a hundred dollars of alcohol and he, and he covered it or some shit i think i don't know don't lie about your height you don't need to because yeah, you're well, fine i don't lie about I my height like, either why would you I'm lie really if you're gonna go see them yeah you're gonna see you're lying yeah. like, who was this yeah honestly i kind of respect that yeah a little bit because like yeah. don't lie we're trying to get on the pod yo amelia Amelia spread. <laughs> Beer sauce.